Happy to do it. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, for scheduling this timely hearing to examine the current status of Puerto Rico's grid restoration and proposals for the future operation of its grid. Uh, Senator Cantwell asked me to fill in for her at the start, and she will be here later. Uh, before proceeding, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the service of nine Puerto Rican National Guardsmen. They were tragically killed last Wednesday when their C-130 crashed shortly after taking off in Georgia. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with their families, and this is an important reminder of the sacrifices that Puerto Rican American citizens make for this nation each and every day. Senator Cantwell asked me to acknowledge Senators Nelson and Rubio for leading a letter of a group of uh, our colleagues requesting this hearing. Senator Nelson has been such a forceful advocate for Puerto Rico, and I understand he was on the island just last Friday. I thank our distinguished witnesses for sharing their expertise and perspective with us today. Hurricane Maria <coughs> struck Puerto Rico on September 20th, 2017, causing the largest power outage in our nation's history and the second largest outage the world has ever known. Uh, we are still not done with the restoration process over seven months after the storm. Today, 98% of power customers in Puerto Rico have power but much more work remains. To put it in perspective, tens of thousands of Americans there are still in the dark. And the threat to their health and well-being is real. As we approach hurricane season in the coming weeks, we need to ensure that we have learned the lessons of Maria so that we don't repeat those same mistakes. Congress would like to see federal aid go to help Puerto Rico incorporate microgrids, renewables, distributed generation, and dramatically increased resilience into the future grid. I think we can also agree that a starting point is a robust, independent, and transparent regulatory structure, something that Puerto Rico has struggled with over the years. If we don't get this right, we'll be in exactly the same place after the next hurricane. Madam Chair, um, I understand Senator Cantwell will join us shortly, but I would ask that her statement for the record be uh, included in the record. It will absolutely be included. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to uh, our testimony this morning. 